hey guys welcome back to my channel today i have for you guys an extreme intense deep clean and declutter i really feel like this should have been done in the spring but i guess better late than never and i really hope that you guys enjoy this video welcome back to another video today I am going to be doing like a full declutter rearrange of part of my house which is going to be the guest room office and my kids room I'm going to be switching all three rooms <laughs> so the guest room will now be in the office the office will now be in the boys room and the boys room will now be in the guest room I hope that was not confusing but we're gonna go ahead and get into this I am gonna do it time lapse just to save space on my SD card but I got a backup and because these batteries love to die, I got the batteries on deck too. So let's go ahead and get to it. Let's get this done. King has this book called Mr. Brown Can Move, Can You? He wanted me to show you all that. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into this video. This is probably about three or four days worth of work that I'm going to be doing all in one day. The boys are fed. They have freezer meals if they get hungry again. So we are gonna go ahead and get this started. The only hard part is going to be that I have to take apart the boys' entire bed. So I think what I'm gonna start with is the guest room in the office because I can bring everything that goes in the office into the hallway and out here and it'll be pretty easy. Because I'm also cleaning out the closets too, but I think first I need to empty out the office. So I think we will start with that. Okay, so I did decide to go ahead and start in the office. It just seemed like this was going to be the easiest room to start with because then I could start emptying out every other room from here. So as you can see, I'm just kind of taking everything out the office, decorations, furniture. We are emptying every single room out from whatever is in there. And uh, as I was doing this, I was just kind of putting the stuff for the office into like the hallway and into the room that was now going to be the office. And this 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 project took all day but yeah right now we are just going to go ahead and empty out the office and as you can see it, it just becomes a mess and so the office really needed a bigger space because we also use this as our workout room we use this as our podcasting room our office obviously our homeschool room so we just needed a lot more space for what we wanted to use the office for Once we got all of the decorations down and the office emptied out, I did go ahead and do a really good vacuum, just vacuuming every inch where there was once furniture, that there's no longer furniture, and just making sure those floors were nice and clean and ready to place furniture on. All right, you guys guest room is or new guest room is empty i'm looking at the size and i'm kind of nervous about if the furniture is going to fit in here but you just never know it could fit perfectly like i said you just never know so we'll see if i have to adapt and change things i will because i know for sure the boys bed will fit in here and their dresser and it'll kind of force them to keep things more clean so time to go and start moving things to the guest start taking stuff out of the new boys room into the guest room to see if I can get everything to fit the right way. 
All right, you guys, so as I said, the office, what well, used to be the office, I should say, is now becoming the guest room. So we are now emptying out what, what used to be the guest room, I should say. Going ahead and taking the entertainment center out, putting it into what is now the new guest room. And then we're gonna go ahead and bring the TV in here. And like I said, we're just swapping. I'm dusting as we go, just giving everything a really good wipe down and a good cleaning. And yeah, so we're just gonna go ahead and set this up. So as we're emptying one room, we're, take, we're setting it up in the next room that it will now be if that makes any sense at all. You guys, when I tell y'all this mattress gave me hell, I mean capitalize every single letter, H-E-L-L. -L. It was so heavy, it was flimsy, and I didn't under, like, it, it, it was just a problem taking it in here and also putting it back on the bed, which you will later see. We have ran into a pickle. I can get that bed frame. Then the hallway is way too narrow. If I was able to take this door off the hinges, I would be able to get it in here. But I think I'm gonna have to take the headboard off and then bring it in here, so we'll see. All right, you guys, I ended up having to take the headboard off. I have all the screws and stuff in my pocket. So we're gonna go ahead and finish bringing this in. I'm glad I didn't have to like take the whole thing apart though. I mean, this is a tight squeeze, but <laughs> it works as a guest room is my point. Like it works as a guest room. So let me go ahead and get these other pieces back in. All right, you guys, so I absolutely love this bed frame. I'm actually thinking of getting it one, getting one for the master bedroom because it is super easy to put together. I actually have this linked on my Amazon storefront under bedroom stuff. This one's a queen size. The assembly is really easy. It's nice, it's sturdy. I believe it's made out of iron if I'm not mistaken. And it, I really like it and I especially love how easy it is to assemble. Again, you can find that in my Amazon storefront. And like I said, I really wanna get a bed frame like this for our master bedroom because I feel like it's really cute really elegant but it's also small so it doesn't take up too much space like our current bed frame And this is the moment I knew I effed up with the way that I faced this mattress. And here you go, have fun watching me struggle because your girl was struggling to get this mattress put on there. But once we finally do, we just get the bed fixed and then we are pretty much done with the actual room aspect of the guest room. Okay hey guys, the new guest room is almost done. I was wondering if maybe like I could find like a like a skinny little shelf. Probably a little more skinnier than this one. And maybe put it on that wall or is that too much? Or I could just find like a tall shelf for here and put drawers in there. I think that might be a better choice. So yeah, now the only thing I need to do is Swap these closets, but I need to get that guest room. I need to get the old guest room emptied out and start moving the boys' room. So, more work, let's go. 
So once we were done getting all of the furniture into the new guest room, we went back into the previous guest room, took down all the decorations and got everything out of here that did not need to be in here. And then we also gave this room a really good vacuum and got the floors really good and clean. Now once we were done cleaning out the get the previous guest room which is now going to be the boys room we started clearing out the boys old room and like I said as I'm moving the furniture out I'm already putting it in the place where I wanted it to be that is just what made sense in my head to do do yours however you want to do it but it made sense for me that if I was gonna go ahead and move the furniture from one room to the other to go ahead and put it exactly where I wanted it to be and it just took out an extra step of like getting everything into the room and then not knowing where I wanted anything you don't see it on camera but in between clips I actually stood in every room and I mapped out where I wanted the furniture to go so that way I already knew and then like I said it made it a little bit easier This was probably the most time consuming part of my day was taking this part, this bed apart and then having to put it back together. It's still pretty simple. There's just a lot of nuts and bolts and screws and it's hard to put a bunk bed together. Just me, Ethan actually ended up helping me and I think I have it on camera putting it back together. It was easy to take apart, but really hard to put it back together. But yeah, it's, it, it is what it is. I really don't want them to have bunk beds anymore. I really want them to just get like trundle beds. So, you know, like the beds that look like one bed, but really there's a bed underneath the bed. I want two of those, or I just want like a triple bunk bed, which I know is probably still going to take, a, take up a lot of room, but I just need something for three. I even thought about keeping this bed frame and then just buying the trundle itself and sliding it under that bed. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. Right, you guys and this is around the time that I started to realize that I was going to need help putting the top bunk on the bottom part was really easy because you know like I could just screw opposite ends together and have it hold itself but there's nothing absolutely nothing to hold that platform for the top bunk in place so you'll see me call Ethan in in a second and he was really really helpful and I was so glad that he's getting old enough to kind of help with things like this and just understand instruction so God knew there was a reason to give me nothing but boys because boy did Ethan come into handy this day.
All right, you guys. We got, so far, the room is almost put together. I just gotta fix the beds. Now, I knew this room would take me the longest because I was gonna have to take this bed completely apart and put it all the way back together. But it was worth it because now it's a lot more sturdy than it was before. Not, still not 100, but a lot more sturdy than it was before. So I guess it needed it. So let's go ahead and get the bed. And so when it came time to making the boys bed I did decide to go ahead and change the sheets on Ethan's bed and just put their favorite color sheets onto their bed so Ethan gets blue sheets Bryson gets red and then so on and so forth once we get the beds for little Brian and King they'll get their favorite color sheets and that's kind of why I like the superhero theme because it's all kinds of different colors but they'll all have the same comforter All right, you guys, so once the beds were fixed, it was time to kind of go ahead and separate everything. I really, the boys have a ton of books. They have books for learning, they have books for just fun, and they also get library books. And I just, I'm the type of person where I like to keep everything separate because I don't wanna have late fees from the library. I don't wanna have to pay for library books that are lost. And then I also, if I need to go into their room and there's a book that I need over a specific subject or something we're going over in homeschool, I like to go to that shelf that I'm working on currently and just grab it off that shelf so that shelf has all of their homeschool books the dresser with the little door has all of their like fun just playtime story books and then on top of their dresser will sit their library book Alright you guys, the boys room is officially done. The toys are actually getting taken out of here because they got in trouble. They're not supposed to be having toys in the room so the toys are coming out. But this is how it looks right now. Pretty pleased with it. Now it's time to work on the office and get everything put back in to the office. 
All right, so once the boys' room was finally done, it meant that the office was now empty or the new current office was now empty. So I went in there and I had the boys clean up their own mess. You guys know uh, if you have been following me on any of my social media platforms, I am trying to cultivate a culture of cleaning up after yourself, especially as men. I don't want my boys to grow up feeling like they need to depend on a woman to clean. I want them to be very self-sufficient. Not saying that I don't want them to ever have a wife, but I want them to know that they can do life without a woman if they absolutely needed to so they are also emptying out their own closet and then I will empty out the other two closets and get all of that stuff where it needs to go so that's how we started off in the office before we started bringing all the furniture in You guys have no idea how excited I was to see how much I could now fit in this closet. It held exactly everything that I needed it to hold for being the office. That is actually the TV that used to be in the boys room. And like I said, we were not opposed to taking it away if they started abusing it. I'm not sure where the clip was of me bringing in the computer and fixing up the shelf, but this wall is actually going to be the full office wall. So this wall will hold the curriculum. This wall is where I will work. It has the printer and all of that. The wall to my left is going to be kind of like, um, we want to get like a futon or something like that. I believe it'll also be good for whenever we record our podcast, but yeah, now we're just getting everything in place. And like with every other room, I did go ahead and vacuum and get all the floors good and clean. And we are just going to work on closets once this room is completely put together. All right, you guys, office is done. This is pretty much the full view office section. I like that there's a big open middle space because now the boys don't have to face the wall when they're doing their schoolwork. And I figured I could just open this like this and each kid can sit on each side of the table since I only do two at a time anyway. There's that. And then I'm also glad because, get out. I'm also glad because now there's enough room in here where Brian can cut hair. So he can have like a designated hair cutting spot. Like if he wants to watch videos, he can use the computer or we could. And I also wanna buy like a futon or a couch for that wall. So that way, whenever we have like a lot of people staying over, it'll fold out into a couch. I mean a bed, whichever, futon or like a couch that comes out, but yeah. So that's pretty much it. I still need to hang up the decorations in here, but that's gonna wait. I asked the boys for help and they did not help. They made, a, they made things worse. So um, I'm gonna go get the office closet done and then I'm gonna assist the boys with theirs. It was about 80 degrees in here. I finally just turned the AC off because the AC couldn't heat up and I'm not hanging that light though. So. Let's head into the office. Let's see what I mean. Y'all remember how clean I had this? It all went to crap that quick because I asked the boys to all right, so we moved on to the guest room closet, which will now officially only hold blankets and like family vid 
not video games, but family like board games, card games, and all things like that. You guys, I I know you guys saw what the guest room closet looked like at the beginning of the video. There were so many boxes that I had to get rid of from just like hiding, not hiding, hiding packages that I would get if I bought them. But now that I receive a lot of free products, I don't know. There's just something about the packages. I don't throw them away or I'm too lazy to go to the dumpster. There was so many boxes and things like that that I had to throw away. If we were getting rid of something, we would just throw it into the guest closet. But you know what? We got all of that taken care of and all of that taken out. And now there is, I can officially say, only blankets and board games for the family for whenever we have company come over and obviously do y'all save gift bags I save gift bags and so those went into the office closet now all right you guys in the guest room is done again the closet looks really good a lot better than whenever it was in the other room but that's because that closet's still gonna have a lot of trash and stuff come out of there so just extra blankets and pillows in there now and then up there is just like extra Schoolwork and office stuff and games and stuff. So there's that. But um, guess who? It's officially done. I'm gonna do something with those in a second after I'm done with the boys' room, and then these are some decorations that I'm gonna put up in a bit. So yeah, guest room check. Now to the boys' room. I feel like I'm moving houses. Looks like I'm moving houses all over here, so let's go. Right, we're in the boys' room. You can see they destroyed the hard work, but we're about to get it corrected now. Get it back in order. Alright, you guys, so I don't know if you guys remember the boys' room. We did get it straightened up and cleaned up. Got all the clothes taken care of. Now I'm about to go through their toys and throw away any toys that don't have their matching pieces. And like I said, there's a pair of toys out of here so they're not grounded what their closet looks like. I actually thought it wasn't going to be big enough, but it's actually the perfect size for them. So, closet is done. Clothes is done. So now I'm just going to go through the toys again and then back in again for a quick all right, you guys, so my camera had actually died in the midst of me getting all of their clothes put away and all of the things like that. And whenever my camera dies in the middle of me recording, the file ends up corrupted and I did not catch it in time. So I lost all of that footage. I'm so sorry. But I did go through their clothes, got rid of clothes and passed clothes down to the next brother and passed clothes down from King into his cousins. And like I said, now we're just going through their toys. I'm throwing away kids meal toys, toys that come in kids meals, those go in the trash, toys that are missing parts, those go in the trash, toys that are broken. Broken. those go in the trash um, they had been doing a decent job at keeping their room clean but they were just doing things that they knew better than not to do so we decided to take their toys away for a little while um, they still have books coloring and all things like that but until they can get better about putting things back where they need to go after mom goes in and does a really hard job of putting things in order that's pretty much the biggest lesson is that we just want them to cherish the hard work that dad and I put in as well as they need to learn that hard work is what earns you certain privileges in life. Alright you guys, five batteries and eight hours later, it is done. Well, I started at 11, it is, what time is it, six o'clock, so yeah, about eight hours later, it is done. I just got all this trash in the hallway, so this needs to go in the laundry room, but I'll show you, hold on. Okay, so this needs to go in the laundry room. All of that is trash. I'm going to sell all of the stuff right here. And then there's also 
more trash and y'all ate all right, you guys, and this is the finished product. This is the office. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Like I said, there's so much more room, and Brian and I are already brainstorming on how we can now elevate this space and to monetize all of our gifts and things that we want to invest in. The guest room came out pretty good. Brian and I both agreed. You don't need much in a guest room other than a bed and an entertainment center, and we probably are gonna buy one more shelf to add a few more drawers in there in case people come to stay for an extended period of time. And then I really love the boys' room. I feel like this was the perfect space for them, and I hope that you guys stay a while. Go ahead and subscribe. More like this coming. I love you guys, but always remember that Jesus loves you more, and I'll see you guys next time.